The topic of today's huddle is haters gonna hate. Happy Monday, everybody. <laughs> Very telling time right now. Haters gonna hate. And so I want to start off today by talking about this. I mean, I'm, I'm feeling really blessed right now because I have my new family and everything is going so well for us. So I'm, I'm feeling in a good space to be able to talk about this very difficult subject for all of us. Did you know that there are people out there who hate me? You're all supposed to say, no! <laughs> Let's try that again. Do you all know that there are people out there who hate me? No! Yes, it's true. And did you know that there are people out there who hate Hani? No. Yes, it's yes. true. I we, got a bigger no. You got a bigger no, and it's true. Are you, you know there are people out there who hate Hani more than they hate me? No. Yes, really, I didn't know this. No, it's not true. I know there's a lot of people out there who hate us, right? And I know this. And all of you, who here doesn't have somebody who hates them, right? Raise your hand. Anyone? Susanna, you don't have somebody who hates you? I'm sure you got somebody who hates you. I love you, but I'm sure there are some people who hate you. Anybody think that they have no haters out there? Does anybody think that? Anyone? No, good. Yeah, because we all have haters, right? And what does mom tell us why haters are haters? Why does mom always tell us? Oh, they only hate you because they're jealous. That's right. And that's true. And listen, sometimes we do things that are wrong or hurtful inadvertently or even on purpose, and that may make some people hate us. But the truth is, is that our lives are too short to be hating people at all, right? And if we have it in us, we need to let it go and forgive the people who've hurt us and move on. And we need to pray that they're going to forgive us and move on for whatever it is we did or didn't do to upset them, okay? But the point is, right now, we're in a holiday season, right? We've got to get through this, and we've got to come back together as an organization. We have to come together as a society, and there's so much hate going on right now. I want to give you guys some pointers for your personal life about how to deal with the haters, right? Because all of you have the individual drama and hate that's going on. We have the individual drama and hate. You know, I, I was shocked whenever the pastor of the church we go to, he's got haters too. I was online looking through the Google reviews of their church, and I know this man. Like, I, I spent a lot of time with him, and the stuff they say about him isn't true, right? And let me tell you, isn't that the most annoying thing about haters? The stuff when they say stuff about you, like, say something true. Like, if they're haters who really know you, they will have criticisms that are true, right? And we're very open about that. These people are talking about this pastor. They don't even know. And they're saying stuff that isn't true about him. So it happens to everybody. And the higher you get and the more influential you become and the more successful you get, guess what happens? You get more haters. That's right. So how do we deal with this? Right? This is the point. Because it's very hurtful whenever we find out they're haters. You know, we found out last week, apparently there was a Thanksgiving party of former Ward Law Group employees who got together and their primary purpose was to complain about me and Hani, <laughs> right? I mean, wow. You don't have anything else better to do with your time, really? A Thanksgiving party just to complain about us? Is it hurtful? Yeah, probably, but you've got to shake it off, right? What does Taylor Swift say? Shake it off. Shake it off. Best parenting advice I ever gave to Elizabeth, shake it off, right? But more importantly, that's them calling right now. <laughs> more importantly, you've got to avoid swallowing that toxin. Don't swallow the poison. And here's the advice I have for you guys right now. Because not only do we have people who hate us, we have people in our lives who are haters and they hate other people. Don't go hang out with the haters. Don't drink their poison because it's going to make you feel bad. You ever have a friend, you go over their house and you walk away and you feel like you want to take a shower, right? All they do is just say negative, hurtful, poison stuff. And if you drink that poison, and by drinking I mean sit there and listen to it, it's going to infect you too. And you're going to feel like garbage. And you're going to be yelling at people two or three days later because you're going to be having that poison still circulating inside your system. So listen, if you have friends who are haters, don't hang out with them. Does that make sense? Right? We don't need to perpetuate the hate because the hate will go away. If it doesn't get on fire, if it can't provoke a reaction in somebody, it will die out. And when you're hanging out with your friends who are haters and you're giving in to their hate, it's probably somebody else. But don't hang out with those people. Okay, that's probably the best advice I can give you is don't fuel the hate and don't be a hater yourself, right? Now, we have to forgive them, right? So when you find out that somebody says something bad about you, you just got to say, you know what, and you say it out loud, I forgive them. I don't know why they said it, or maybe you do know why, but you've got to forgive them. Don't call them up. Don't get into a text war. Don't go and tell your other friends, can you believe that, you know, so-and-so did this, all that. Don't do it. Just let it go. 
I forgive them. I forgive them. I forgive them. Keep saying it until you believe it, right? Because it's going to take root, right? You get really irritated about it. And we've been doing this long enough. Like, some of the haters have gotten closer and closer and closer to us, and we're like, wow, that really, it really does hurt. But then you just got to say, you know what? I forgive them. I forgive them. Because you've got to be the bigger person, right? So keep saying, I forgive them. Don't give in to the hate. Don't hang out with the haters, right? Let that stuff die out, especially now. Because we're going in the holiday season. You're all going to be going to your family dinners. What's going to happen? Right? You know it. There's going to be a lot of drama. There's going to be a lot of hate. So we need to make sure that we're the light in those situations. So keep being the light. That's the other thing is don't let that hate, don't let that negativity, don't let that poison get inside of you. You keep being the light. Right? And the truth is that your light is so bright that it's blinding some people. And that's what makes them hate you because your light is just so bright. You got to keep being that light though because there's somebody else out there who's looking at you that's watching and they're waiting for you to make a mistake, maybe. Don't give them that opportunity. There's other people out there who are watching you who need that ray of hope. The haters, you know what? If you're doing it right, you're going to have haters. There's always going to be someone who's jealous. You're always going to have haters, but you got to ignore those haters. Don't get drugged, dragged into it.